Hello again everybody and welcome back to Land Gaming where we're going to be playing some more Guild Wars 2 today. Um, just thought I'd quickly show you guys, well firstly my guardian waving because that's just kind of cool. Um, I've turned the game volume down a little bit so you should be able to hear me a bit better this video. Firstly, um, I've decided after looking through the weapon skills that I'm going to go with a greatsword for a bit. So just for you people who are kind of new to the game, what I'm going to do is you can go to any weaponsmith right at the beginning of the game. Um, the closest one I've found is here on the map. Uh, let's go back into Divinity's Reach, but I can't really be bothered to do that because I'm a bit lazy. But um, you do need a tiny bit of money to do that. So what I would suggest doing firstly is finding the nearest heart to you can, uh, which we'll find by speaking to the scout or um, this guy. In fact, I think that's kind of relevant. Um, you complete the first hearts in your area. You'll get about 50-ish uh, bronze from doing that as well as the bronze you've already got from, sorry I call it bronze, aren't I? Copper. Uh, yeah, whatever that is, bronze, copper, you name it. Um, you'll get about that and that should let you choose whatever weapon you want to start using straight from the beginning of the game. So I'm going to jump right now to when I find the heart. Okay, so as this little bit here is technically part of the personal story, um, I've decided to talk to him and show you guys a cutscene that I assume will follow. Um, and show what happens. Shamor cried his bread basket. Since the centaur attack, Citizens are trying to rebuild their lives, but it's tough with bandits and dangerous wildlife roaming the area. Don't wait for an invitation. Jump in and help them. Okay, yeah, there we go. So there's our guy showing us all the hearts that we can go do nice and early. And those little numbers in brackets are the recommended level for that. This is a waypoint. Out. Waypoints appear on your compass, which is in the lower right corner of your screen. You can also see them on the world map, which you can access by pressing M. Press M again to close the world map. To teleport to a waypoint, open your world map and click on the waypoint to which you want to travel. If you wish to improve your skills, watch for special challenges. They'll test and teach you. You're a beginner cussing, but that's fine. Okay, yep, yeah, so there we go. And then we've found some hearts we can do nice and quickly at the beginning. Well, uh, throughout the game, obviously, you, um, you can do hearts, but these are the quickest way to get a tiny bit of money behind you. So yeah, now I will jump to where I'm going to find the heart. <laughs> See you in a second, guys. Okay, and after walking about 10 feet, I realised that this little quest is also part of the personal story, so I'm just going to record this as well. And whilst I'm on the walk, I'll explain a tiny bit about the map quickly. Um, these little things here, I shouldn't really walk using the map, it's a beautiful game to explore. Our little points of interest, these little squares on the map. Um, they're just kind of little, well, as I say, points of interest in the game, kind of cool little areas to go and check out and see what happens. Um, and if you walk over an area, you'll see on the map, little bits are covered up like this so you can't see what's underneath them, but as you get close to them, it unlocks, you can see all the white points and point of interest that's beneath them. Uh, this green arrow is here because I'm doing my personal quest, personal quest, personal story, because there are quests in Guild Wars, technically. And apparently there's a huge boss in Swamp, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Okay then, so there's our waypoints. Um, but let's jump to this one because there are two, and we might go to two. Yes, I'm not sure I mentioned too much about it, but the Guardian is kind of like a very heavy armoured melee character. You can read up here um, what we've got to do for this sort of quest, by the way. But you can go talk to the guy over there if you want to. I've already done this on other character, so I don't need to go do that. Yeah, the guy is like a heavy uh, armoured melee you know, kind of guy. He's a big worm. That's kind of creepy. I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, the guy <laughs> is kind of uh, yeah, a heavy melee character, heavy armour, kind of filling the paladin role of the game, but not exactly because uh, yeah, there aren't exactly targeted heals or tanks in Guild Wars 2, which is quite awesome. Anyway, let's take on this one and um, see what happens. What's going to spawn? What could it possibly be? Let's kill it anyway. Well, that's easy. A precise scepter! Oh my god! Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, we don't like that though. Um, yep, yeah, okay, so you can see this isn't too bad. We're just going to roundly walk around here. Kill these things with this guy. Not too difficult at all. We can use this water to wash a corn, wherever the corn's hiding. And uh, yeah, but we can't really to find it, so let's keep killing these because it's fun too. Let's see what this does. I don't actually use this properly. Not a whole lot. Oh, it blocks attacks! Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this is too much fun. Far too much fun. That worm is still there, creeping me the hell out. Oh, hey, it's gone. 
beautiful. Alright, yep, so I'm going to now skip, hopefully going to skip, to when I finish this heart, which won't take long, but you guys are wanting to see all of it. It's the same thing over and over again. See you in a second. Okay, there we go, and as you can see, now I've completed this. It's letting us to check our mail. Well, we don't need to be told that, though. We can see we've got two mails there. Um, this one here, you'll get a mail whenever you complete a heart. This one here is just because I've completed part of the personal story quest. So there we go, he thanks us, we get some money for it. We'll take all, and then I'm just going to delete it, because I don't need to read them or care about them that much. And they don't do anything as far as I'm aware so far. Uh, yeah, and this is what we got for completing our personal story. You can pause that and read it if you like. I'm not really going to bother too much. Okay, um, and now I've done that. We have enough money to go buy ourselves what weapon we want. Yay! So I'm going to take a little walk over down here. And I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go back in here. Which I might as well just show you guys. Okay, yep, so here we are back in Divinity's Reach. Because I think it's a tiny bit quicker. Ooh, that's on Steam. Cool. Now we've been overflow because the game is still very new. And there are lots of people on it. So now I find the quickest weaponsmith. <laughs> I'm assuming it's very close. Looks like he is. Lovely. That's been a bit weird there. Not a problem. I'll check that steam in a minute. Probably Tom, in fact. He's going to be all, yo, let's play Guild Wars. Because it's awesome. Okay, okay, I know you're there. Stop messaging me, man. <laughs> it's probably not Tom, actually. Oh, it's ready. Should we travel? Should we travel? What do you think? Oh, do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? Oh, yeah, the cool dance. I've got to show you guys a cool dance. Yeah, we'll do the cool dance after we've traveled. Okay, and here we are back in the normal server because it's generally a tiny bit less laggy. And here is the cool dance that you can do on every character, which is awesome. <laughs> I find this quite amusing, I'm not really sure why. Though you can do an actual dance by typing slash dance. Haven't seen a human one yet. <laughs> well, this is quite cool. I have got the graphic settings turned down a tiny bit, I should point out. Um, it will be probably a bit prettier on your guys' computers. That was some interesting ground, but yeah, because my graphics card isn't quite up to the job yet without a new fan, which I have mentioned previously. But um, yeah, we'll just pop up here, and I've now lost the weapon merchant, because I'm um, just back this way. Oh, God, okay. Yeah, so I'll walk over here. What brings you here? Keep walking over here. Still walking this way. Walking, walking. Gonna jump on this bit. Gonna talk to the citizens. Yeah, what I have to love about this game is just how it's a, such a persistent world and it feels like the game is moving on without you. The world just kind of carries on regardless of whether you're there to say something about it or not. Anyway, we're at Weaponsmith now, so we'll just buy. A lovely great sword because we can, and if we don't like it, then we'll just stick with our mace and whatever I have in my offhand. A focus, I think. Let's go ahead and equip that. Lovely, and we might as well sell our junk over here as well. Oh, yeah, we have no junk. We'll deposit all collectibles then. We'll go straight into our bank. Lovely. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to very quickly go find um, a dynamic event so I can show you guys those. And then we'll get to level 3, hopefully quite quickly, and continue our story. Okay, and here we are back in Queensdale, I think we're in. And you can see I've just gone to this waypoint and walked this way, because I felt like it, and I've encountered a dynamic event, which pops up here on the map, and the little thing comes up on the thing here. So we can just join in this if we want to, we don't have to, but obviously we want to, because it's, um, as far as I'm aware, the best way of leveling up. So we're just going to jump straight in here. I think we're hitting people around here as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we can see it's got like, these bandit waves and a bit of fun. Ooh, it's a buff wrath. And you can see we're unlocking skills with the great sword as we do this, which is pretty cool. Um, I think this does damage similar to the other one. But going around to retaliation instead of uh, whatever the other thing was. That word that re yeah, regeneration, that's the one. Okay, let's take a bit of damage, so we'll go ahead and heal. Um, not a bad idea, by the way, to rebind these skills on your keyboard. I've set mine to. Sh I've got these at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, obviously, and I've set these skills to shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, Whirling Wrath. And if I remember, this skill looks really cool, and we're about to have a lot of fun with these guys. This element is something all fun for us. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. And you can see you walk around, rally encounter, and then. This pops up when you do it and telling you how much you got, uh, sorry, how much you participated, bronze, silver or gold. Uh, the higher level you get, the more XP, karma and coins you get. 
Let me just clip that to get rid of it. And you can see I think we jumped up from around here to here, something like that. Alright, yeah. So this is what I'll be doing for about the next five minutes. Uh, we'll try and level up. Not too bad at all. Let's get this point of interest while I'm here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Yep, to keep this video from running on too much, I'll just jump to the next dynamic event. Okay, I moved about five meters this way, as you can see we've got another event to clear this orchard of spiders, which is a pretty fun event if I remember. Um, the other one is get apples, I think, in a similar area. Now let's zoom in a bit here, because these trees can be quite annoying. I think if we squish these egg sacs, we'll get a few spiders spawn. Nope, but we'll help it out. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. So we'll put this down, see how much damage that does. We'll just spin around because it looks cool. And there comes another guy. Yeah, this little bar obviously tells us how far we how close we are, sorry, to completing it. Do, 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 do. Oh, spin it in, because that's fun. <laughs> then throw a quick heal in there. Because I can. Spider, spider, there's a spider gonna go and kill the spider. Orchard spider, you dead spider, long, long, god, you're <laughs> Six down. Spin and do damage to everyone. I'm not sure if those projectiles actually have to hit people at range for them to do damage. It seems a bit random if so. Um, I'm assuming it's more of a kind of it does damage to people based on distance rather than projectiles, unless the projectiles target people. But we'll see when we hit group of enemies, I guess. Oh, it's the elementals with daggers, which is really cool. Let's be something over there. Oh, there's another one. It's gonna go all like that spider. <laughs> Let's squish this exact over here. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see what happens. You can have this, and then you can have this, and that'll probably kill you. Indeed it will. Yeah, so I'm quite liking the Guardian so far. Like I've said and you've seen, my main is a Necromancer, which is pretty fun. And I think we're going to be doing a video of the Ascalonian Catacombs very soon. Um, story mode and hopefully explore mode as well. Though it is bloody difficult, to put it nicely. <laughs> but it is very, very fun. Um, it's a very difficult dungeon, but really rewarding. And you can get some nice gear from it the first time you do it as well. It's always nice. Not the most important thing, obviously. Um, I think I got about 11 and a half out of it every time I've done it so far. This guy looks pretty, pretty mean. Whoa. Hey, cut that out, Mr. Spider. Do, 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 do. We might be a bit trouble here. But it'll be a good chance to show you guys a downstay, actually. <laughs> which is my intent all along. What happens here is you get these little abilities here, which we can use while we're down. If this bar goes all the way down, we die. Um, if it doesn't and we kill something, Okay, that was interesting. If I'd have killed it, I think the event ended. But um, if we had killed it, what would happen is we would have rallied and come back to life. Um, which happens when this bar fills up by getting revived or banishing yourself like that. Or um, or when you kill something, which is quite cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... Uh, oh, here comes another event. You just ran me ones it into. Well, by being in the same area. That <laughs> didn't require much effort. Yeah, these happen quite a lot of the time. We get one event leading to another. When you go down, you get like there's a little arrow here a second ago. Um, I didn't point it out quick enough, but if you rewind the video, you'll see it. Um, and that arrow is down penalty, which means the red bar basically will run out quicker. You have less hit points in the down state next time. And I've just learned a new skill, which is pretty cool. And that orchid spider is going down. And there we go, another event. And we've leveled up. Lovely. Let's see what the skill does quickly. Uh, leap at your foe, on hit blind nearby foes. <gasps> Let's try it out after such a moist spiders. Let's give it a go. You. Time to be leaped at. That's pretty cool. Get some nice combos going here. Yeah. We've almost done this out as well, which is quite nice. Uh, should we do that quickly? We might as well while we're here, why shall we? I think we shall. Do 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 do. Kill. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on, one more thing. Just need one more thing. If you press control, by the way. Oh, oh, you grant virtues to your allies. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, press control, it'll show you all the interactable things near you. Put this down, and spear, and you can't die. And then we've completed this. And we get a little bit of XP, a little bit of gold, and oh no, we don't want that, that's not half maintenance. But we do want our mail. Yeah, but you can read that again if you like. 
Blah blah blah, that eight gold, thank you. Coins, I should say. <laughs> okay, yeah. And now we're level three, so we can go uh, continue our personal story. A little bit more, so let's go do that now. Alright, so we've hopped over to Divinity's Reach now. We just took this waypoint because it was a tiny bit quicker and I happened to have it unlocked. Um, yep, and um, we're gonna have a look what happens here. Would you like to continue your story? Yes, I would. Okay, so apparently this guy is insisting on seeing me, so let's go be seen. Activating this point of interest. Whee! Queen's Island village. Cool story here. Well, we've got some experience around me. Okay, cool. So this guy wants. What is it? What is it? What is so desperate? Well, I love the conversation cutscenes. Uh, the the hero of Shaymore returns. Come and see how friends and neighbors alike have turned out to welcome you home. A party, Farron? For me? Or is this just an excuse to get your friends together and see what's in my wine cupboard? Nonsense! Heroes are always popular. These nice people simply insisted on congratulating you and celebrating your brave victory. And you insisted on breaking out my finest food and drink for the occasion. You deserve no less. Still, I can't take all the credit. Your household staff was most helpful, even eager to facilitate the process. I wish my servants loved me half as much. But then, I am lovable in other ways. <laughs> and the less said about that, the better. Now wipe off that smirk. <laughs> Let's go enjoy my best roast duck and brandy. I like the humour put into some of these cutscenes. There are some pretty funny um, memes being used in a lot of the ones I've done so far, the Silvari area. Um, yeah, that's really and you can see once again how the choices we made creating our character um, actually come through in the cutscenes and just about everything we do, which is pretty cool. We have a weird frame rate drop there. Let's see, we've got to go. Where do we go to enjoy our party? Let's just go follow this guy because that sounds like fun. He seems to know where the party is. This looks like a kind of kind of party? Rather oh, interesting party. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, we have to go here. Was Mac the Wonderful? So, hero, ready to be amazed? I am very ready. Amaze me, Wazmok. Wazmak, even. Alrighty. Well, this is a wonderful party. I have done much. I've, I've walked into a field and killed one thing, guys. Calm down there. Oh, Sentinels. Yes, okay. Yes, that was very scary. Yes. Wonderful toast. Thank you, Dignity. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. Bye. Why is everybody dancing at this party? It's a party. We must dance, people. No, nobody wants to dance. Is this an MC Hammer dance? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm, I'm terrible at dances. A lot of people are going to shout at me for that, I imagine. Let's talk to this guy. I think I think I am done. I'm not much of a party person. <laughs> Must excuse me. Ooh, lovely. Point of interest. Gonna follow this guy. Do, 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 do. Bandit scout. Seems legit. <laughs> Called it. Totally unlegit. Why are these guys in my home instance? Guess we better defeat the bandits. There's a bandit here. Why do you take one over there? Is there these bandits as well? No, okay. That's a bandit. Put this thing down and hit them all. Yeah! Look at all that damage. Oh, oh let, let's run away. Let's run away and then leave it in again. Oh, that's so much fun. Killing everything because I'm really cool. They're right? I'm not sure if they're right, but it's funny the way. Do 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 do. Whack you dead. Yeah, everyone's cheering. Cheer, people. Cheer. Okay. More well, cutscenes. Cool. We like cutscenes. The mouse out of the way. The mouse really bugs me. I don't know what to do with it. I heard Farron shouting. Where is he? I saw those ruffians dragging him down the street. They're going to kill him. Calm down. See to the other guests and make sure no one else has been harmed. I'll go after Lord Farron. I wonder what would have happened if I had chosen a commoner one. That would be kind of interesting. Don't worry. Just we'll it. Well, I know this is pretty urgent, but I'm Farron. just going to sit here and do these guys first. Um, I'm pretty sure Lord Farron, whatever his name is, will be okay. Right, let's follow the green arrows. The green arrows in the wall. Quickly, we must hurry. 
Oh, I can heal myself with this. I should have clicked that earlier. Ooh, burning on the next attack. That sounds cool as well. Yeah, anyway, green arrow circle. That sounds like a reasonable place to go. We'll just uh, roll it over here. The Asura dodge animation is the best animation by the way. Ooh, people. Destructor, that's not the button I meant to press, but it's... Uh, did I just leap over there and then glitch back? Okay, okay, I'm not even going to ask. I'm not going to question it. It happened, it was cool. Find a rescue fire. Let's try this place. This looks like a place to go. I'm menacingly wielding my sword. Oh, things, stairs. Let's try the stairs. Bit in the basement. Is he in the basement? Everyone's always in a basement of some kind. He is not in the basement. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Retreat from the basement. Do, 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 do. It's nice. Uh, what's the word? Ambient music in the background. Sceneful music. I don't even know. Uh, well themed music. Oh wait, wait. There, that's like a. I don't even. Where is this guy? I hear bandits. I just kind of don't see them. If we press Alt, it should show us the enemy, shouldn't it? Should do. Did I check upstairs here? Is there an upstairs to check? Let's check upstairs in here, just in case. It seems like the only place we can actually go. There's another upstairs. Oh, I'm gonna check this door first. There we go, there's a marker. Wait a second. Is that upstairs in here or is that somewhere else? Oh, goodness. Why oh, you were so confusing? Oh, wait, there it is, all over there. I should have probably spotted that sooner. He's in this house. There we go, that would have been. Oh hey, that was interesting. Let's just press this and then press this one. <laughs> and I don't even have to do anything. Bag of pinched goods. I like that. That's cool. Oh, hey, what are you? Hey, that's not cool. I'm gonna backpedal into you. I think this hits uh, nearby enemies. It's just a blinding blade. Throw a blade at your foe. It's causing damage over time. Let's just use it. Oh, hey, that looks cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, I missed you, didn't I? I'll work you instead. I don't know what I've done. Pull. I can pull. Oh, I see. Okay. That's kind of cool. I can use that to bind them and then pull them to me. Oh, oh this guy's like a bone slash bone. More attention to him. Let's, yeah, let's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Do -do 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 -do. Talk to Farron. Who's probably used to defending himself. Oh, good fun. Is he in the back garden? Is he upstairs? Probably upstairs. Oh, what are you doing? What are you even doing, Farron? Yo, no, swear to him. Oh, funny face, good son. He's kind of big lips. Anyone else thinking this? Just me? Just me. Okay, off to that. Am I, pleased to see I take you? it back. They got smaller again. So I got the wind reloader. as well, guys. You can hear that in the background. I'll make a note of <laughs> Any idea who these hooligans were or what they wanted? Not really. I did hear them discussing a farmhouse in Shaymore. They were going story. to lock me up there with the rest of their hostages. Then I have more work to do. I can't save you and leave the others to rot. Bad form, you know. Count me in. I may not be a centaur killing berserker like you, but I can take care of myself. Can take myself. care of himself, but can't escape from bandits. Okay. Interesting. Lovely. And I think that is the end of the mission. Lovely. Ooh, the reward. Holy crap. Vitality, precision, or power. Power is basic damage. Precision is basically critical chance. And vitality is how much life you have. But we're going to go with power, because power is cool. Oh, that's just a salvage kit. I'm sure you guys are familiar with those, though. Go ahead and equip those, because they're cool. I'm going to make some cool hands. Yeah. Sexy are they? Not very. I know, right? Oh, we got some worn chain greaves as well. Could have. Hey, they look almost exactly the same. Now we can open all these pinch goods because everyone loves pinch goods. Look at that. And then we'll just deposit all those. Um, and we'll quickly salvage these because we don't need them. And these because we all. Oh, do we need those? Do we need those? They look kind of good. We totally need those. What's that done? Nothing. Cool. We look the same. That's good. Dun, 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 dun. This looks like one new thing I can use. I can't. Alright. We shall very quickly. We can walk out the instance. We can just click this magical button here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, front those magical buttons. Alright, here we go, and we can travel. Whoop. Okay. 
that's cool, we're gonna travel. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video because the next quest we have, uh, the quest I should've gone, stop calling them quests. Yeah, so I hope this has been a nice video, kind of showing you guys how you should start out your adventures, um, how you can kind of level up, how the leveling up system mainly works, um, and hopefully a little bit about how the Guardian plays as well. Um, if you wanna see the next part of the story, please like, favorite, subscribe. Um, Yep, tell your friends, tell everyone, because this game is awesome and I'm loving it to bits, and hopefully the next part will be up very soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.